the CISO gets involved, right? The, the chief security officer says, wait a minute, what, what do you, you want to put our information on what? Yeah. You yeah. want the stupidest administrative system admin in our consortium to get hacked and wreck us all, right? That, and that's the problem, right? Even private blockchain, if it's actually a blockchain and, peop and different companies are running their own nodes, you have a security issue, mm. right? You have a giant threat surface. Um, so that's why, you know, around what, 2017, I was like, wow, man, this doesn't work for me. I was having a hard time thinking about it. And Joe Lubin, you know, it was like, hey, you know, if you want to come work on blockchain, come over here. Yeah. So I did. And uh, that's been a really good experience. So, uh, but then it, the problem still remains. If you think of a blockchain as a database, businesses can't use either a public or a private blockchain. For most, for not for very much. I mean, you know, there might be some use cases, but you're putting inter almost all internal data is sensitive data in some kind of, in one way or another. All business logic, you know, between you and your counterparties, you don't want your competitors knowing about you know, and decompiling the business logic in there. You don't want that. So you say everybody says, "Oh, let's NFT things and let's uh, let's smart contract things." I'm like, "No, I don't want to." And, and you have nosy neighbor problems and custodianship problems and all these other issues if you're actually using it as your backend to your application, your private internal application. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. 